So what is bullying? Bullying is a word that has many interpretations and at times misinterpretations. I simply define bullying as any attempt to control the behaviours, emotions, reactions of any other person. I see bullying as any attempt to take a person higher than blue on their behavioural scale. So when I understand bullying, it's about understanding that there's two parties involved. There's the victim and there's the perpetrator. Both the victim and the perpetrator, for their own personal reasons, are experiencing degrees of loss of control over certain factors within their life. Both the victim and the perpetrator are both people who require support to know how to regain control over the factors that they currently perceive loss of control over. So what are the different types of bullying? If we take the understanding of bullying to be any attempt to control the behaviours of another person, we can understand that bullying is in fact happening in all parts of society at all times. We can look at the schoolyard and go bullying's happening in the school, but bullying in the school may be happening from student to student. It may also be that the student is bullying the teacher. It may be that the teacher is the person bullying the student or at times teachers bullying other teachers. In a home situation, bullying also occurs there. It may be that one partner is attempting to control the behaviours of another partner, whether it's the wife controlling the behaviours of the husband or vice versa. Or it may also be that a sibling is trying to control the behaviours of their other sibling, or a child controlling the behaviours of their parents, or the parent controlling the behaviours of their child. Or we go to a workplace. Bullying often happens in the workplace, whether it's between colleague and colleague, whether it's between colleague and boss, or whether it's the boss attempting to control the behaviours of their employees. All of those are attempts to bully the person. And let's just take the public domain. Within the community, there will be people who just randomly attempt to control the behaviours of another public member. Another example of bullying. But also with today's technology, We've got an increase of ways of bullying, such as cyberbullying through the internet, through Facebook, through uh, telephone use, texting. Again, there are many examples on the internet that are increasing the people's opportunity to change or attempt to control the behaviours of other people. So as you can see, there are many forms of bullying behaviour, many types of bullying behaviour, but if we understand that bullying is simply any attempt to control another person's behaviour, we can see that it's happening in all parts of today's society.